Okay, so I'm back. I did a quick reading for myself um, because of what just happened. I wanted to do a quick reading for myself and I'm sharing my reading with y'all. Now, I don't expect anybody else to resonate with this reading because like I said, this one was a personal one for myself. But uh, one of the other reasons why I wanted to share is because I just want to stress the point of paying attention to the messages that we get all around us. Um, so many uh, other diviners on YouTube that I have watched have been saying that uh, we're going to start bringing higher communications, going to start learning about ourselves and who we truly are, so we can do what it is that we came to do in this lifetime. Um, and all of them have said the same exact message in their own exact in their own way, but it's the same exact me message just said differently for you know different people. But anyway, this is why it's so important to pay attention to the messages around you, so you have more control, or if, even if not more control, more understanding of what's going on. Um, but this is the personal recent reading I did, so I'm going to go right into it. This one right here is the High Priestess of Air. And everybody knows Air is all about communication, but not just any communication, spiritual communication, deep with it. Just want to show you the cards. And it's so, I love this deck. This is the, the, um, Wisdom of the House of Night deck, and it's the only deck I was ever able to resonate with to date. So, and I've been looking for a long time. I did a video on how these cards came to me, but... Um, I've been looking for a long time and found this. They came to me and I love it. I love it. I love it. Love it. But anyway, this is so that's communication. This one is the Grove. Now, according to the book, this is supposed to mean um, releasing, um, releasing things in love, letting go of the things that you don't need, or basically going deep in your heart um, and healing yourself. But to me, it's more. It's, you see the bench, you see the trees. When I see this, can you see it better on? Ah. Wait a minute. Where can we get better light? I don't know. But anyway, uh, I guess that's the best angle. You can kind of see a couch there. And it's a cat there sitting on the couch. And there's trees behind them. And there's roots and stuff. What is that? I don't know. I'll look deeper later on the bottom of the card. But to me, this is more of a... Every time I look at this card, I don't get that. I get meditation. You know, with the couch and the trees... Because we all know trees are connected to the earth, so they hold a lot of information um, from, especially if it was nice, if it was a really old tree, it's been around for centuries. Um, it holds a lot of information uh, and connects to that area. And sometimes the trees, well, not sometimes the trees do talk to each other. So while it's connected to your area, it also can get information from other areas uh, from it. So to me, this is more so. Oh, while I'm saying that, while I'm saying that. And this case, my mind, so I'm looking outside and I'm watching somebody smoke a cigarette. Um, if you are a smoker, never put your cigarette out on a tree, ever. That is so highly disrespectful to nature. Never put the cigarette butt out on a tree. I'm pretty sure if you watch this video, you probably already know that. Or if you've been doing that, you probably suddenly stopped doing it and didn't pay attention to it. Or you start to feel uncomfortable doing it. That's nature telling you it doesn't like that. Don't do it. Um, also, with the cigarette ashes, try not to flick them in the grass. Um, flick them on, I say flick them on the concrete, because they didn't distort it. Once they, they didn't took that from the earth and distorted it and basically took all the life out of it and changed it to something else anyway. And it's made for things to be rolled over it. It's made to t take, take abuse, basically, with cars running over all day and everything. The concrete and walking on it and everything else, is, that was basically made to take abuse. If you don't have ashtray or something with you or something something you use as a tray, flick it on a on a concrete, on the road. Don't do it on the grass, on the trees. Nature finds that highly disrespectful, highly disrespectful. And I was actually, and I'm because I'm looking at somebody smoke. I'm remembering this, but I was actually um, outside one time watching somebody smoke a cigarette and they put it out on the tree and I felt the tree scream. I felt the I literally felt the tree like scream like scream in anger and then the guy continued to walk and not too far after the guy tripped he tripped and fell um and when i went to look it was a rock that he tripped and fell on that i didn't see there before and like this particular place i'm talking about is the playground I've, I've always seen i've been there all the time i know almost every thing <laughs> there as far as nature wise and this rock i've never seen before so anyway that back to that that's something else but like I said, to me, this is more of a meditative card. So, and then this last card. Oh, it got so dark in here. Ah, 
It's probably because I actually like the darkness, but this last card is the fragment card. At least you get to see the words. And it's like a soul ascending. There goes the soul. It's like a soul ascending upwards. Is upwards. And the fragment card is actually a card about pulling all the let me move this over so you can actually look at the card. If you can get any more information out of it. Um it's actually the fragment card is actually all the pieces coming together, pulling all the pieces of cut all the pieces come up together, pulling everything together. Um, so you can see what it really is. Not putting things in boxes, but pulling everything out the boxes together to see the bigger picture. Like putting puzzle pieces together. You got all the pieces now, and now you're putting them together to the puzzle to see the picture. And I thought this reading was so beautiful and so on point for me after which has happened because um, one, of things I have, one of the things I'm asking was, what am I? Not necessarily who am I. I know who I am. Um... I am a soul. I am a soul that is an aspect of the greater source, having an experience within within this creation that I partake in creating, and continue to create. Um, so I know that. But what aspect of this source am I? How many aspects have I became? Um, what type of aspects are these of the particular source that I am participating in, um, as an individual and as an individual disconnected? having an experience and also with a connection continue this experience so like I said I know who I am I just been asked like what I am exactly going going deeper and deeper and like I said this is a time where everything's coming together all the readings before I was saying clear the womb clear the womb because now it's time to do and now is 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 doing all the pieces of the puzzle are coming together mm -hmm. um my meditations are actually getting uh, faster where I can go into that meditative state faster. And this is just in like a matter of, I would say, hours um, from the meditation last night. So now um, the meditation with the, I can't even say last night, it was actually early this morning. <laughs> the meditation with the uh, lunar eclipse. So now my, my uh, meditations, I'm getting be able to relax and go into that meditative state meditative stay faster and i know where i know where it's going but you know i'm just enjoying i already know the goal i already know where it's hitting me to but i'm just enjoying the journey there and i'm actually already partially there i just have to get honed it in more or i should say uh cultivated there you go um but yeah so communication and then the growth with meditation so i'm being communicate i can communicate greatly and better through my meditations and then all the fragments are coming together so i just wanted to share that um share that with y'all and show you how divination if you're open to it and you're not trying to force your conscious thought which you wanted to be on it you can always get clear answers you will always get clear answers and even if the diviner's off based on their conscious thought and what they're thinking about if you sit back and look at the cards yourself you will also or if it's runes because i'm more of a room reader than a tarot reader which is probably why i have hard time finding um, tarot cards oracle cards but if you said this is why most of them a good one will always give you um the rooms what they mean um what the rooms what they mean and what they got for for you but just in case you don't relate to what they said they will give it to you and normally later later on when you reflect on it it will show you um you will see you will get the true meaning out of it out of what it, what it means um you know, but it all depends on consciousness, releasing that conscious side, that side that's always trying to define stuff, that side that's always trying to place stuff in a box. It all depends on you releasing that box, getting rid of the box. The box no longer exists and letting spirit do what spirit needs to do in order to help you create and manifest the life that you want. So with that, that is my quick reading that I wanted to share. Um, I don't know if I'll do more videos in that today. I'm not sure. But if I don't, stay blessed. Peace.